Hello everyone, welcome back to Night's nice Productions. I'm King Volpez, and today I'll be explaining how I got uh, SteamVR working on Mac and how you can do it yourselves. So, two things I need to get out of the way. First of all, this is not the Windows version of Mac. This is, or not the Windows version of SteamVR. It's the Mac version of SteamVR, native. So, the library of Mac uh, VR games is very small. And... I cannot get the SteamVR Windows version working on Game Porting Toolkit. Something about the SteamVR server not working under Wine. And second of all, modern headsets will not work. Uh, older headsets might work, and I'll be explaining why later on. Uh, but yeah, that's the first two things I need to get out of the way. Just in case uh, you guys thought this was some magic fix for steam vr mac it's not sadly but uh yeah let's get into the video so let me stop this but uh, this is a compatible mac vr title uh even though it says 32 bit it is 64 bit it just wasn't registered as 64 bit game so it will run on arm so first of all you're going to want to install steam vr and you're going to want to go to properties betas and you're going to select the mac os beta for some reason valve never removed the mac os version uh, i'm not sure why it hasn't been updated in a long time but it's still there and it is a 64-bit version of steam vr so it will run on apple silicon and then after you have that installed you're going to, want to go to browse local files you're going to go here show package contents contents Mac OS, runtime, and then drivers. And here you can see why older headsets might work because the drivers are still there for HTC and Oculus Legacy. And at the time, I think the compatible VR headsets with Mac were the HTC Vive and in the HTC, uh, HTC drivers, it says HTC Vive Pro, so that might also work. Uh, the ones from 2017, not the modern ones. And then Oculus Legacy is the oculus rift the first one so that also might work but today we're not going to go into that because i don't have either headsets i have a quest 3 so it's not compatible we're going to be going to no because that's the one i used in the video and then you're going to go to this open with text edit and this is going to be false you're going to change this to true next out that go to resources settings and you're also going to open this with text edit and that's also going to be false going to uh, change that to true and that's it because by default steam vr looks for those old vive headsets but since it's not connected uh it's not going to load anything uh so using the null drivers it will register a headset that's not there allowing you to open steam vr if we actually go into settings you can see that it still looks for a vive headset so that is why I think an older Vive headset can work with Mac OS Steam VR still. Uh, so interesting note there. Anyway, we're going to open this. Not because it is looking for a game. And it's going to open this, but we're going to go out. And yeah, that's it. Uh, not really complicated. Uh, I actually found this because Apple did uh, make a document on how to get Final Cut Pro working with uh, SteamVR, except they said it was for Intel Max, which does make sense since it's 64-bit, it runs under Rosetta, meaning it does work on ARM, and uh, they didn't specify which headsets work, but they did tell, uh, that's where I found out the Mac OS Steam VR beta was still available. And even though I just found out that document was from 2017, they reposted it. The fact they reposted it means that those older Vive headsets, again, might work with Mac OS still. And even though it's not meant for ARM, it's running under, under Rosetta, so it should still translate correctly, hopefully. Uh, I don't have a headset, like I said, to test it, but 
maybe someone out there does and you can give it a try yourself and yeah that's it i don't know why my mouse is acting weird <laughs> um yeah sorry i had to listen to my hideous voice but there was no other way i can explain it without any sound uh whatsoever but uh yeah that's it and hopefully i'll see you in the next video bye